Man portable air defense systems, man pads or MADs, are portable surface-to-air missiles. They are guided weapons and are a threat to low-flying aircraft, especially helicopters. Man pads were developed in the 1950s to provide military ground forces with protection from jet aircraft and helicopters. 25 countries, including Pakistan, Turkey, the United Kingdom, the United States, Sweden and Russia, produce man-portable air defense systems. And today, we are going to see Pakistan's all-man-portable air defense missile systems, which are currently in the use. So before jumping into the video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more military informative videos. On number 6, we have ANZA. The ANZA is a series of shoulder-fired, man-portable surface-to-air missiles produced by Pakistan. Guided by an infrared homing seeker, the ANZA is used for short-range air defense. The ANZA is produced by Kahota Research Laboratories, being one of the facility's main conventional weapons projects. Development was originally undertaken to eliminate dependence on importing expensive foreign systems. Various versions of the ANZA are currently in service with the Pakistan Army, with the MK3 version being the most recent. The ANZA is also offered for export, Malaysia being its only known export customer after receiving 100 ANZA MK1 in 2002, and later, a further 500 ANZA MK2 systems. On May 27, 1999, the ANZA MK2 was used by the Pakistan Army Air Defense Forces to attack an Indian aircraft during the Kargil conflict with India, which shot down two Indian aircraft, one MiG-21 and one Mi-17 helicopter. ANZA shoulder fire missile has three variants. In recent years, Pakistan has advertised the ANZA series for export, displaying it at the International Defense Exhibition 2007 event in the United Arab Emirates and at the IDEA's 2008 defense exhibition in Pakistan. On number 5, we have, RBS-70. RBS-70 is a man-portable air defense system designed for anti-aircraft warfare in all climate zones and with little to no support from other forces. Originally designed and manufactured by the Swedish defense firm of Bofors Defense, which is now Saab Bofors Dynamics, since 2000. It uses the RB-70 missile which is also in use in a number of other Swedish missile systems. Pakistan using this RBS-70 manpads since 1980 and more than 1500 in service with Pakistan Army. The RBS-70 was developed to supply the Swedish air defense with a low-cost, easy-to-use, and effective short-range SAM system. Before RBS-70, the mainstay of Swedish air defense was American MIM-23 Hawk systems, RBS-77 and RBS-97 Swedish Hawk, American Red Eye, and the Swedish Bofors M48 AAA. In 2003 the Bolide upgrade system was introduced to the RBS-70. The Bolide missile is an RBS-70 MK2 upgrade, that is faster, Mach 2 vs Mach 1.6, with a range up to 8 km, and can reach an altitude of 6 km, deliveries were initiated in 2005. In 2011, Saab Bofors Dynamics, successor company of Bofors Defense, announced the introduction of the new RBS-70 new generation. The upgraded version included an improved sighting system capable of night vision and improved training and after-action review features. On number 4, we have FIM-92 Stinger. The FIM-92 Stinger is a man-portable air defense system that operates as an infrared homing surface-to-air missile. It can be adapted to fire from a wide variety of ground vehicles and helicopters. Developed in the United States, it entered service in 1981 and is used by the militaries of the United States and 29 other countries. The Stinger is a specially designed, high-tech, but lightweight surface-to-air missile that can be easily carried overland and then fired at enemy aircraft. Supplied by the United States of America to the Afghan rebels in the mid-1980s, it was used to shoot down scores of Soviet planes and attack helicopters and help turn the tide against the Soviet-backed Afghan government forces. Light to carry and easy to operate, the FIM-92 Stinger is a passive surface-to-air missile that can be shoulder-fired by a single operator, although the standard military procedure calls for two operators, team chief, and gunner. 
It has a targeting range of up to 4.8 kilometers and can engage low-altitude enemy threats at up to 3.8 kilometers. For now, Pakistan has more than 350 stingers in use of the Pakistan Army. On number 3, we have FN-6. FN-6 or FANUS-6 is a third-generation passive infrared homing IR, man portable air defense system. It was developed by China and is their most advanced surface-to-air missile offered in the international market. Specially designed to engage low-flying targets, it has a range of 6 kilometers and a maximum altitude of 3.8 kilometers. The FN-6 is in service with the People's Liberation Army and has also been exported to Malaysia, Cambodia, Sudan, Pakistan, and Peru. Based on FN-6, China has developed a number of other manpads, such as HN and FY series, as well as other vehicle-based short-range air defense systems such as FN and FB series. According to some sources, the FN-6 is a third-generation, passive infrared, man-portable air defense system. It is equipped with a digital infrared seeker with a strong resistance to flares, solar heat, and heat from the ground. The pyramid-shaped nose of the missile houses the four-unit infrared seeker. The handle of the launcher houses the batteries and cooling system. The missile is capable of an all-aspect attack and has a 70% single-shot hit probability. It can engage targets maneuvering at up to 4G. The missile's operating range is from 500 meters to 6 kilometers, and its operating altitude is from 15 meters to 3.5 kilometers. On number 2 we have, HN5. The HN5 is a family of first-generation Chinese manned portable air defense systems, based on Soviet technology. The HN abbreviation is used to avoid confusion with HY, Haiying, or Sea Eagle, series anti-ship missiles of the Silkworm missile family. The HN5 series in Chinese hands has been phased out in frontline and first-line reserve units by QW series manpad, but is still being used by militia units. The HN5 is a reverse-engineered version of the Soviet Strela II SA-7. As the result of the unsatisfactory performance of the original HN-5, China immediately began to improve the missile and North Vietnam once again provided China with the original Soviet sample during the Vietnam War, this time the Strela 2M. However, when the Chinese finally completed its improvement, it was already too late to see action, because the Vietnam War was over and the relationship between the two countries had soured. For now, Pakistan has acquired more than 1,000 HN-5 and 5A manpads from China. Finally, on number 1, we have, Mistral. Mistral is an infrared homing manpads manufactured by the European multinational company MBDA Missile Systems, formerly by Matra Bay Dynamics. Mistral is a short-range air defense Shorad, missile system that can be used from vehicles, surface ships, and helicopters, as well as in a portable configuration. It features a lightweight man portable launcher. It can be easily transported and operated from the ground, a vehicle, a building, or a ship. Mistral manpads is normally operated by a gunner and a crew commander. However, if the mission is carried out in a simple tactical environment, it can be operated by one single soldier. Mistral is a man portable, fully digital, heat seeking missile designed to meet the requirements of all branches of the armed forces. It boasts a 97% proven success rate and higher reliability than any other existing low-level air defense missile. Mistral integrates ultimate state-of-the-art technology to ensure the same effectiveness in peacetime as well as in wartime conditions. On firing the booster motor accelerates the missile to a speed of 40 meter per second and burns out before the missile leaves the launch tube. In less than 0.4 seconds, with the missile at a distance of about 15 meter from the gunner, the sustainer motor ignites and accelerates the missile towards the target at Mach 2.5. The range of the missile is up to 6 kilometers, which it reaches in 9 seconds.